Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first ever Sludge Hour podcast. Joining me today is my co-host, Sebastian. Hello. We don't really know how to do this, so we're just gonna we're just gonna talk how we usually talk and hope that you guys find it entertaining. Have you heard of worm grunting? <laughs> okay, so there's these dudes in the Appalachian Mountains. They look exactly how you would expect them to look. And they have like this this board with like ridges on it. Oh, I think I have yeah. this. And they go and they stick it in the ground and they put a stick and they like shove the stick yeah, into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just worms just start Come wiggling out of, out of the ground. Yeah. I want to do that. I want to learn how to do that. The guy was like, it takes takes a certain special kind of person to be able to do it. <laughs> a lot of people I've seen a lot of people try and they just they just don't give up they can't do it so it's like an infinite fishing glitch like actually yeah, he, they were they were making like twenty dollars a bucket man they were not making a lot Dude, of money doing it twenty bucks a bucket of worms come on that's okay, a, but how much how long do you have yeah, to that's a lot to of fucking a worms. Of <laughs> worms holy fuck like a five gallon bucket yeah like, Home Depot mm, or like a little, little blueberry bit smaller. bucket a what like a blueberry bucket what the fuck? What's like when you go blueberry bucket? picking like the white buckets like, I, I haven't been blueberry that's picking. like the whitest shit I've ever said in my life <laughs> <laughs> okay um no I, I have no idea what the fuck a blueberry bucket Never looks mind. like but I'd say like half a half a Home Depot bucket alright so like two and a half gallons is that Damn. is a is a Home Depot bucket five gallon bucket I think I think. Twenty dollars. That's got to take... Could be ten. Say... That's a fuck ton of worms, bro. So when I saw it, I think there were only like... There's only like two square feet of where the worms would come out of the ground. I can't imagine there's that many within two square feet. No. Like every time they were doing it, like maybe like five to ten worms would come up. Dude, all right, never that. mind. No. I thought it was like 50 coming out. Exactly. Just like... It ain't much, but it's honest living. <laughs> 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 this guy was getting so fucking hype about um, worms in Chernobyl. They just eat the fucking radioactive materials in the ground and use something called bioremediation, where they turn all the... They literally just self-decontaminate the material mm -hmm. and eat it. They can just do that. They so they're they're keep... destroying like they're getting rid of the nuclear. Yeah, genuinely, that's I, insane. I think Ukraine. If Ukraine wasn't so busy right now, <laughs> I'd say they should invest in worms. <laughs> Dude, trying... hit up those Appalachians. Yeah, fucking. I feel like they could work out a deal. The um, what's it called? Just I... give them a tank. I feel like they'd be happy with a tank. Of they... worms? No, just. <laughs> I think the Ukrainians should just give the Appalachians a tank. Oh, yeah, yeah. And in exchange, they'll just give them thousands like of worms. Thousands, yeah, yeah. Like hundreds of thousands of worms. No, that's smart as hell. I uh, I was reading that wolves in Chernobyl are, like, they can't get cancer. They're immune to it. Yeah. Because of their developed, prolonged radiation. Yeah. That's, that's most of the animals. I actually saw, I saw, the, I watched this whole video about um, how since the Chernobyl documentary, or uh, like theatrical uh, representation of Chernobyl happened on HBO. You you remember that? It was like a five part mini series. No, it was huge when it came out. And um, after it happened, it blew up, and all these fucking influencers started going to Chernobyl. You ever see that? Any of those slideshows where it's just um, <laughs> it's a girl sitting inside of the claw, is sitting inside of a claw, and then um. And then you swipe, and it shows it in 1986. The claw is, like, scooping tons of radioactive material. All these people are going there and not not understanding the, the fucking safety hazards at all. They're going to get cancer yeah. in their, like, early 30s. They're going to die, like, quick. Like, yeah. if that thing was scooping pure radioactive material, like, it's hyper radioactive. Yeah, like, that, that's, like... That can kill you. What I remember reading was it's going to take like a hundred years, over a hundred years for the radiation to fade into like livable standards. Yeah. So, so this guy went on about how all these fucking influencers are going to Chernobyl and they're just fucking everything. They're like, they're, 
there's people that live nearby that are like creating more of a like apocalyptic looking feel it's actually like if you talk to anybody that goes there i forget what they, i forget what they call the people that like that recreationally visit chernobyl on a regular basis there's like a certain name for them they're like a niche group yeah there's there's like a community of them and but there's a part of these people who are making it seem like worse than it is like they drag out all this like sh like shit and like make a scene they'll like build a scene out of stuff they've gathered oh, from the different buildings like they're like stuff. making it a theatrical yeah, thing yeah yeah that's so stupid it is stupid and not only is it stupid to like like put on a show like that but they're also touching all this radioactive shit yeah they're killing themselves and they're dragging all the radioactive material that's settled there out of the buildings out into, into the streets areas. where the people are walking. They were people have been doing tours Jesus. for the past like twenty years, but like there's been like standards for it. They yeah. just, they just walk on a certain path, and they have a guide that knows where to go and where it's okay to go, and they got permission from the government. But now there's all these people just fucking coming in, it's and true. not only that, the influencers coming are are. Just littering everywhere, just destroying the environment. I remember watching this whole National Geographic docu documentary about all the animals in Chernobyl, and it's like it was a fucking animal utopia. They reclaimed the earth, you know, after the humans left. They got yeah. all the. And now they're driving them out. I know. They're driving them all out. That's so fucked. I remember being 10, obsessing about that shit, obsessing about Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Did you ever watch the movie? Uh, what was it Chernobyl Diaries? Yeah, Chernobyl Diaries. Nah, I never watched any Chernobyl shit. It was a it was a horror movie. It's pretty good. Oh, I'll you watch, watch it. it. Then. I, it's like I can't think of any other popular Chernobyl horror movie that needs to be done. So they're gonna do it within the next five years. Yeah, they're so desperate for ideas. What do you think we should add to the Wii Sports Resort catalog, <laughs> dude? I think we should add cockfighting. <laughs> That'd be sick. I think um. Like Western, like a Western shootout. That'd be sick. I think they Nintendo Switch made a game like that though. Like it's like Quick Draw or something. Yeah. Uh, dude, but um, you brought up the Wii. I was gonna talk about that, um, the game, the yeah. Squirrel game. Yeah. Uh, I saw a trailer for this game and it was it's called Conquer Live and Reloaded. And it's spelled like C O N K E R. Um. When did it come out? 2000 June 2005 it's an old you know game the month June 2005 <laughs> okay <laughs> um and it was uh I just remember the trailer I was watching was all these little cartoon squirrels they're all dressed in World War II clothes they all have the helmets on and then underneath the helmets they have the flat top cuts all of them <laughs> and they're like scarred and beat up <laughs> And badass. they talk like that, you know, like they That's do like badass. the cartoon squirrel voice. They're on the ships um, that are the duck boats, the duck boats coming onto the shores of Normandy on D-Day. And ass. it's just like Is the it third person or first person third. Uh, it's I, I think it's first person, actually. That makes it so much better. The I fact know. that you just have a squirrel like in your face like it's a person. Yeah. And he's like screaming at you. He's like. You gotta get off this boat, private. And they're the, fucking the, shooting it. The and intro they swear. to Saving Private, do they? They're swearing. Is it rated M? Uh, yeah. They so they released it on DS and they um no censored it because DS is like yeah. Nintendo's a family friendly kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but they released it on Xbox. That's live and reloaded, and that's the uncensored version with that's blood and ass. shit too. So you just the opening scene is like Saving Private Ryan. It's the door spinning, yeah. dropping, and then all the squirrels in front of you just getting mowed down. No You're jumping off the side of the boat, oh my God. and you just see them like getting bullet ridden in the water, <laughs> blood's floating, and it's just insane because it's these cartoon squirrels. And you thought it was gonna be such a wholesome game. That sounds awesome, dude. Yeah, I I want it. Is it for the OG Xbox? Yeah, two thousand. Yeah, but I think you can, can get have it. the OG Xbox. We can fucking I think you, find you it. You can get it on What's backwards it compatibility. Conquer, Conquer live and, and reloaded. Conquer live. <laughs> but I think it's backwards compatible in the new Xbox. Holy too. shit, dude! <laughs> yeah, I gotta find this. I gotta find. No, I want to play it on the original Xbox. Yeah. that'd be so much more fun. I want to play it so bad. It seems sick. You remember when we saw a gnome? Yeah, gnome yeah. Dude. I'm gonna put a video up okay, so people can, we, can see it. Is that possible? Or not right now, but in post. We'll no, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering if we could do that. Absolutely. Yeah. That video is. 
So we, we did see. We them. were we were um, in my house, and my mom, <laughs> my mom's friend came over. Uh, it was nighttime, and my mom's friend just bought a Tesla. And they were standing in our front yard, looking at the Tesla. I don't know what the. F- it, it, it doesn't she have like a like party, party mode, mode like or jewel some party shit? mode. Yeah, <laughs> it just starts like all the all the fucking lights start flashing and shit. And then the doors opened yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck am I looking at? And then I, I start taking a video of it just because like it's funny watching them like just stare at the Tesla going nuts. And then a fucking a creature a. a Fucking it on two legs. Skittered. On two legs, skitters across the fucking screen. Gnomes are out there and they're a threat to society. Dude. Everyone's worrying about uh politics and war. I say we worry about gnomes. Eradication strategies. I think we need to write an article about that. That's what I like how to protect yes, your home. Yes. I wanna put um, did you ever make leprechaun traps? Yes, I love that shit. I got like as the years went on, and I wouldn't catch him. I would get more and more <laughs> dude, drastic. Dude, I mean, yeah, I'd get like lethal. But yeah, I was by like, the end, fuck this little bitch. I'm gonna <laughs> kill this fucker. <laughs> by, by the end, I was just using toothpicks as <laughs> as punji spikes. <laughs> So that when he would, I built like a door in the shoebox, and he, when he would open the door and step in, it would lower, it would drop the top of the shoebox, and on the top were the punji spikes, the toothpicks, and it was, and it was supposed to just. I had, um, that's genius, by the way. Thank I didn't, you. I never Thank thought you. that far ahead. Um, we had started out with putting, uh, piece of construction paper with a glue stick on the back of it oh, smart, and we smart. just put like chocolate coins you know we're yeah. like oh he's gonna he's gonna eat this shit up yeah. obviously didn't work um your mistake was using chocolate i always use the the golden dollar you know? oh yeah no yeah. I, we stepped it up that yeah. was the first that was, <laughs> and then we started using rat like rat sticky pads yeah and we put coins real coins like quarters um that didn't work either and then towards the end Obviously, it was my mother doing this. Towards the end, um, I had a box. Not a sh- It was a Kleenex box, I think. And I put a rat pad on the bottom. There's only one entrance. And on the top, I had a meat tenderizer. And I didn't rig... Like, I'm 10 years... I didn't rig this thing to drop. Like, I was just like... It's like, like cartoon logic. It's yeah. going to drop yeah, when he gonna... steps on there. Exactly. So, it, it wouldn't have worked. But I just remember my mom being like... like isn't this like you want to kill him? And I was like, I just need to know that uh, it's real. I, like, <laughs> exactly. It's, I'm not. I'm p- done playing I cat and mouse. I remember being in kindergarten, and well, and seeing uh, little chalk footsteps uh, across. Yeah. The, and be like, what the fuck? Dude. They were here. <laughs> Why didn't we see them? <laughs> By the way, it is St. Patrick's Day. We should oh, mention yeah. that it's St. Patrick's Day. It's a good time to talk about killing leprechauns. I wrote I wrote a uh, a skit I didn't have a chance to draw it I was busy this weekend about um uh there was IRA leprechauns I don't know how I don't remember how it got the to that. yeah I don't remember how I got to that conclusion IRA leprechauns oh it, they were talking about leprechaun traps that's what it was <laughs> it was just it was a kid going dude check out my leprechaun trap and it's just a loaded handgun instead of a shoebox. <laughs> <laughs> and the other kid's like, what's the logic? Like, how's it going to work? And he's like, he's just going to go it, and when I see him go in, I'm going to close it. I'm just going to shake the box. Until the gun fires. <laughs> um, <sighs> but yeah, yeah but gnomes. Then the IRA leprechaun comes, and I th- th- yeah, he kills him. Gnomes, imps, leprechauns, all that shit. It's real. I, I believe... <laughs> I, th- I, I say... It's silly now, but when you're in the woods late at night, dude. <laughs> I remember in Europe, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Those woods are a different breed. There's wolves and yeah. bears and shit. It's I, just... I haven't been in like ten years, right? Yeah, I'm going this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. I think I went right before COVID in 2019. Lucky. It's awesome. But yeah, fucking. How would you houseproof your home for gnomes? Uh, 
I would because um, those are. I feel like they have so many entrance tactics. I was gonna say like, what do you think you're would gonna, be their you're main point of entry? You're gonna have to use like like Rainbow Six Siege defense yeah. <laughs> defense positions. Um, well, like where I'd say chimney is like solid. Yeah. Um. The little dryer vent, you know, the little like pipe that sticks out of your house where the steam comes out. Yes. They could definitely. So I would arm that. Yeah. How would you um, arm it though? Like how do you arm a tube or a chimney? I would put for the tube, I would lay copper wire through it like a grid. Mm-hmm. And then I would pump a shit ton of electricity into it until just it's glowing hot. Him? And then like oh. if he touches it, it just But that uh, you like have to like actively set that. No, Not it really. needs to be like a passive trap. What do you mean passive? You wanna have a heated you wanna have a tube? Full of Dude, heated copper wire. I'm not taking in your any house. fucking chances. <laughs> that may be more detrimental than maybe. All uh, right, defensive. fair enough. Um, I'd say for chimney, like just like take a bunch of machete blades, remove the handle, and like position it to like make it like a great like, like a s- s- like like an they're X. all scattered. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. no matter where he falls, he's gonna yeah. get nicked. Because then you can still use the chimney and, and like it'll go through the yeah. Machetes. The smoke will travel straight. But if through. they That's drop, smart. they'll get cut the fuck up. I have um, bear spray from when I went to Colorado. So I'll yeah. just rig a little trip wire with bear spray and just fill the tube with that. That could work. I feel like they have digging capabilities. I know they have digging capabilities. Yeah, but you can't dig under it, the foundation. Like yours maybe because you have that creepy little section the hole, in the yeah. yeah. They could dig into that probably. Yeah. Cuz those snakes are finding their way. Yeah. So the goblins point. can just if talk with the snakes. If snakes can get in my house, goblins, gnomes, no doubt. imps. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, you are kind of fucked. That's okay. I'll figure something out. I mean, yeah, I think probably best bet is a gun, for sure. Okay, but I feel like if a gnome is entering your house, you only find out when it's too late. Yeah, <laughs> they've either completely plundered you, or you're already, <laughs> or you're already dead. They're doing a little jig, laughing at you with or all your gold and your corpse. <laughs> they've already plundered you. No, um, nobody's even gonna. They're, they're, your cats are going to be eating your corpse. <sighs> nobody's even going to know. Because they're so discreet. They're, nobody's going to see you like they, they broke in. No, yeah. It's so, like, they're so nimble and shit. But the question is, like, they have these tiny points of entry. How are they going to take all of your treasures out of them? Like, they can fit in there, but the treasures definitely can. They can't shrink them down. They can disassemble them like fucking, like Chinese. Like, like, like elves? Workers. Like little... Yeah, they can just... Like, say you have a, a flat screen TV. They'll disassemble it. How? <laughs> It's a, like all 4,000 pieces that it's made of and carried out piece by piece. Like ants. They're basically just ants. Yeah. Human ants. Well, how, do you think they travel in like packs? Is it like scout Absolutely. goblins? Absolutely. Maybe the one we saw was like a scout. He was like scouting out the, the house. <laughs> the territory. They don't laugh. That shit's not even funny. I think so. I, they definitely travel in packs or hordes even. Hordes. Hordes. I in feel like woods? hordes is a goblin thing. Yeah. I, a goblin I horde. so. Why? Because of Clash of Clans? No. <laughs> I never played that game that much. I only played Clash Royale. I never played. Dude, Clans. Fucking Rich would play oh, with I remember. all my friends. <laughs> I remember seeing his shit and I was like inspired by it and I was yeah, like, I think I'm going to start playing. It was insane. Mm. Um, I got something. Yeah. Um, we were talking about earlier finding new things to gamble on. Yeah. Like, uh, um, did you think of anything? Well, cockfighting is a classic. I yeah, wish it would that's be not legalized. a new thing. Um, <laughs> I think just like, dude, like Japanese bug fighting. You remember yeah, what we were watching? Those videos are yeah. solid. Mm-hmm. But like. You don't often see them kill each other. No, nah, that's the issue. That's, you, you, there's well, never a winner. Also, those matchups are, like, poor. Like, you would have to get, like, two scorpions that are, like, in heat fighting for a mate and, like, put them in and just, like, see what happens. That'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that'd and be cool. that'd be good gambling, I think. Animal fights. Yeah. It, it's a it's an American tradition. It is, yeah. Unfortunately. I think, uh, what about... <laughs> what about what about betting on um 
the the people being shipped out to like uh, combat zones? Like who's coming back? <laughs> do you think they already do that though? Like their platoon's just like, dude, that I got fuckers, twenty. That guy's they got like squares. They're that like, guy's got twenty days. It's such a good idea. Squares on what day someone dies on. What do you mean squares? I'm not. I'm oh, not a, okay. So like, I'm not a big gambler. With football, like during the Super Bowl, my dad usually buys like squares, and it's like different. So it's like zero, one, two, three, four, down to like seven, down on that row and across on this row, and like you get your box, your square somewhere. And it'll be like seven, seven, and then yeah. three, seven, and then three. So it's like the first team needs to score seven, and the second team needs to score three, um, in this quarter or like in this half. Okay. And like the later in the game it happens, the more money you win. So it's like you can get oh, squares okay, that are I like, see. um, you know, Monday through Friday, and so, you know whatever month on this side. And just have people bet on, like, what day this dude's going to die on. There could also be, like, side bets on, like, uh, wounded, you know, like, wound casualties, not full-on yeah. mortality. Yeah, like, oh, he's going to lose a leg, most likely. Um, probably, probably not a good thing to bet on. Probably unethical mm. and morally misguided. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't support it, actually. How about civil wars? How about civil wars in third world countries? What about... How about, like, Congolese militias? Like, which one Which one is going to make it to the top? Like, live bet. Like, you're which in the casino. Which one's overthrowing the government next? Like, you're in the casino, and they have, like, the banner going of, like, the live they betting. They got live coverage of, like, That's the, ins- the government. That would be insane. The government, the capital being raided. It's like, yeah. Congolese rebels <laughs> versus centralized government. And then yeah. it's like they got the odds up there too, like the Congolese rebels the are odd, armed. They with. got pr- the rebels got pretty good odds. Yeah, <laughs> well that's that's numbers. why you got to bet on the underdog. The underdog's the centralized government. They, they got the numbers and they got the morale. Yeah, <laughs> they Dude. got a they got a motive. The guy on top, he's just he he's just w- w- concerned about his pockets, and that's why the rebels are there in the first place. Yeah, I um. I've been thinking about Somali pirates a lot recently. Yeah. And, like, how cool that lifestyle is. <laughs> Just, like, raiding ships and stuff. Like, modern day, though. You get guns and shit. That, it's like that... You, have you seen that South Park episode? Yeah, go? yeah, yeah, where they go... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Clyde is crying. It's <laughs> not how you said it was gonna be. <laughs> they, get, they get rescued by, like, the French That's how ship. I feel that would end up if we were to go do that oh, like, yeah. we would be upset yeah <laughs> we absolutely would, we'd be pretty upset I think I'd be upset if I did any like Peace Corps I'd be like yeah you know yeah I thought like, about, oh, I thought so about Peace Corps when I was like 15 yeah everybody I, I told did. that to, uh, to my stepdad and he's like you fucking idiot yeah <laughs> what are you talking about what are you what are you a hippie you gonna, just you gonna go eat kale oh, dude. <laughs> I mean it's just like it sounds nice to be able to travel somewhere. Yeah, that's just the that's the appeal. Yeah, to everybody in Peace Corps, dude, they're fucking. They're all fucking. Oh yeah, constantly. Dude. It's just it's a it's a fucking long prolonged Woodstock thing. <laughs> like literally, it's a prolonged field trip with a bunch of young teenagers going to a country where they can only speak to each other because no one else knows English. Yep. I, I saw the appeal as a kid, like yeah. you said, yeah, for the travel. Yeah, I saw the appeal. And then I'm just like, God, that'd be the dumbest decision of my life. I felt the same about the military. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. remember talking. I remember talking to the recruiter, and this dude, he would say anything. To, oh yeah, he would say anything. they all do. They're like, dude, you'll be set. Like, <laughs> you'll be in an office. You won't even touch a gun. I, know, okay. I was not. I'm not by no means a, a physically. You know, superior being. <laughs> and he's like, you could be special ops, dude. You could be doing the helio uh, jump. And I'm like, you. jumping out of an airplane sounds cool. And he's like, then you're going to do it. I'm going to make it happen. I'm like, okay. I got a 72 on the ASVAB. That's really? Like, that's really you high. You took it? Yeah. I didn't study or anything. Dang. Yeah. I, uh, and the guy was like, dude, this is like. The average is that uh, like officer level? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what that's what uh, that might j- just be something they say to hype you up. I don't know. I think that's true. I don't know. I have Eagle Scout too, so that that fucking helps. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, you're 
You're ready to get badged up. I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, plenty, I of, plenty of nerds r- ready in line. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't fall for it. It's. I feel like all the dudes that like go to scout camp or go to summer camp and just like everybody hates them. They're the ones who like join the military now. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> or you know what I mean, yeah. though, right? Like it's yeah. not not hate them because like. It's just they hate them because they're, like, jerks about it. If you took Scout seriously... You're no, just... You're you not, weren't, you're like, like... Yeah. It's just cringe, dude. I mean, I don't know anything about that, you know? I did it for the camping. Like, oh, yeah. Can't, cause, I love camping. I get it. And, like, I had buddies in there. So, but th- these guys bossing people around and taking that shit seriously, they don't have any buddies there. That's kind of... that might. That's kind of like, why they do it. Yeah. You know? It's a it's a shitty cycle, honestly. I it's watched sad. a lot of kids get bullied hard in scouts. Hard, dude. I watched this one kid. I watched this one kid. We were at um, Cantini climbing on all the tanks mm-hmm. and shit. And this guy, this kid, oh, I don't even want to tell this story because it's embarrassing for him. Um, Just don't say any names. Yeah. This kid, dude. No, dude, I don't want to tell it. I don't, don't want to tell it. I don't want to tell it. Tell me after. <sighs> Okay, I'll tell this other one. This fucking kid used this used the bathroom that the the nice bathrooms at camp yeah. before me, and he was in there for like twenty minutes. And I'm like, whatever, everyone takes forever because it's the nice shower. This. It's the nice shower. You get your own room and everything. You're not, you know, you're not behind a shower curtain. Yeah. with like you get a lot twenty door other dudes. Yeah, you get a lot. And your door. own shitter probably. Yeah. And and the the kid comes out and he's like, took you long enough. Or I'm, I'm like, took you long enough, and he's walking down the path, and I walk in, and I'm like putting my towel and stuff down, and getting ready to shower, and I need a shit, and so I go to take a shit, and fuck, what do you think's on the toilet seat? Shit. Not shit. Piss. Not piss. Cum. <laughs> <laughs> It's calm. And I fucking open the door, I rip it open, and I, I run down the path a little bit, and I go, Hey! Fucker! <laughs> you left your fucking jizz on the toilet seat! Dude, that is just In front of everyone, disgusting. everyone's looking at him. And I'm like, come clean this shit up! And he's like, I didn't know I didn't! And I'm like, and why, I'm, I'm fucking hallucinating? Yeah, I A know ghost what left this. ectoplasm <laughs> on the seat? <laughs> That is disgust- like It was fucking gross. That dude is gonna- He's gonna be like, yeah. He's gonna- That recruiter's gonna glaze that dude up so hard and be like, you're gonna be a Navy SEAL <laughs> no, in that like kid, 10 days. That kid wasn't one of the kids that got bullied. That was just a fucking shithead. <laughs> yeah, that, gross. that pissed me off. I thought it was pretty funny at the end of the day. Though. Well, yeah, I mean, it is, because it's like, there's calm on a toilet seat. But... There was a dude that I watched get bullied- Like, bullied out of the troop. I watched. I watched him get bullied out. Damn. Because, That's not but he cool. was. It, he deserved it. Okay. He was a fucking dick. Honestly, he was big. He was like a big guy. Yeah. And so he'd like push people and shit, and just like, and just like like fucking noogie you and shit, and just like get handsy with you for no reason, and and he just like try and clown you, but he was like you. It wasn't. It wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. So yeah. He wasn't good at it. Uh. So everyone. He was a would, brute. <laughs> yeah. He was a brute, and everyone would clown on him. And, dude, one time, dude, oh, what the fucking, the, the leaders had to have a meeting with all of us to tell us not to call him um, a variety of names we were using because he, in the not nice shower, decided to take a shit On the and floor. waffle stomp it. Been there, done that. <laughs> but people found out real quick. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, dude. What do you think happened? Doo doo feces does not go away that easily. It lingers. That's not cool. Like, I don't think bullying is cool. I don't like that's not (laughs) that's not that's not that's not cool to do to some like just scout that's just like trying to that's like new or something, you know? Yeah. But when you're fuck shitting in the shower that we all have to use, yeah, you deserve a little bit of heat. Yeah, yeah. No, a lot of bit of heat. That's definitely. yeah, he deserved what he got. I Not so. maybe to the extent, but he definitely should have gotten shit on for waffle stomping. <laughs> shit on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the the leaders were like, "You guys can't. St- you have to stop talking about it. Stop talking about it." Of course, uh, we didn't stop talking. No. About it. 
how are you gonna how are you gonna force a group of teenage boys to stop I'm talking, talking yeah. about the kid that just took a shit in the shower? What the fuck do you think this is? I liked scout camp overall. It was fun. I remember the good time. the one time I didn't even have to do it. I just joined up with you guys for the FBI thing. That was awesome. Yeah, that was fucking sick. That was fun. <sighs> I got my fingerprints now. <laughs> they have all of our fingerprints. Yeah. Do you, um... Oh, it was about summer camp when we went to Catholic camp. Do you ever talk to people about it? About... Like Camp Geneva, Christian summer camp. Yeah, you can't list the name. They're gonna look into it. Whatever. No, nah, I don't give a shit, um, dude. Yeah, Camp Geneva. Fucking um, um I, every time I tell people about it, we used to call the counselors uncles. Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, dude, my uncle Steve. And they're dude, like, wait, look. what? And I'm like, my uncle Steve was like, uncle Steve. He was helping me out with it. And they're like, the fuck? They're like, you, you definitely about? got molested at this summer <laughs> camp. And I'm like, no, I swear to God, I did. They are great it's people. It's hard to tell someone, like, explain that. They like, were a, good people. They, they were. didn't do anything like and that. Then, <laughs> and then they washed our feet. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, you can't even bring that up. Yeah. We, had to, we had to take our shoes off and sit in oh, a bucket. They totally they, didn't molest us. They, they, told, they, did not, they did not molest us. They just washed our feet and we called them uncle. <sighs> Dude, I don't, I don't think my parents asked in deep enough about it because if they knew that, they'd be like, "What the fuck? I'm are you never sending about? you back." That's okay terrible. for context. It's because in the Bible, Jesus would wash people's feet as a sign of humility, as a sign of like <laughs> we're equals. Because I, I believe it was a thing for like when you enter someone's home to wash their feet as a sign of like uh, hospitality. Yeah. So Jesus would wash people's feet, and they would like they would. They'd have like a speech prepared. Or they'd say something, but it was like it was like I think it was personal. like a prayer. It, it was yeah. It would end with a prayer, but it was like personal. Like they'd be like, "How you doing? Like how you enjoying?" The yeah, yeah, show? yeah. It they, was. It wasn't weird. It was <laughs> like as weird as it sounds. <laughs> it was not fucking weird. It was like strangely intimate, but like <laughs> don't say it. No, no, no. But like it wasn't on. Unco- like it was just like he's like we're talking. Like we're locked in right now talking yeah. about stuff, and it's just yeah. like. I feel good, like I feel clean after I was done with it. It was weird, but like, yeah, it sounds like we got molested. We did not get molested. We did not get. We did not. There was n- no. It was a fun camp. It was. They a had great a zip camp. line. They had a zip line. They had a giant rock wall that we can climb. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Um, th- they had the thing, the platform that you jump off of. Yeah, and the, someone sits the, on the, the cushion. Sack. Yeah. Or whatever the hell it's that called. That was awesome. Oh, dude, that was that was honestly the scariest thing there for me. I didn't I was never scared of zip lining or rock climbing or. Oh, I think I was more scared of the rock climbing. The, the fucking the the bag. It was just something about like jumping onto it initially. I wasn't scared oh, about yeah. being launched. It's just like because they were like, you have to land on your butt. Or you're gonna break your legs, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, Fuck. fucking what? <laughs> I, I don't I don't ever like I don't like cannonballing on my ass. You, I mean, oh yeah, because like shattering your spine if you hit the floor or something. Yeah. Ugh. We played fun camp games, dude. Those color games Wars, the, bro. Color Wars was insane. And then we we were building the shelters in the woods. That was fun. That, dude, that place was cool. Yeah, I respect it. There were so many dead trees. <laughs> started yanking down all the dead yeah, trees. Yeah, ripping trees. I didn't out know of the how ground. easy it was to do that. Yeah. We were like what twelve? Dude, and I, yeah, we were just shoving trees down yeah, like, like big ass yeah. fucking trees. I'm fucking Paul Bunyan. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that, place, that was a fun ass camp. It was. You tell people you went to Christian summer camp, and they're like, "Your life sucks." Yeah. No, nah, it was pretty sick. I might not be Christian anymore, but. I can still recognize I had a great time. Even when, like, we would sing songs, like, Christian songs. Yeah. But it was, like, hype. It was, like, fun. I Yeah. I don't even, like, remember any of the Christian stuff. I just remember doing all the fun shit. I do remember... The talent show? No, I remember um, one of the kids from our cabin ran up to us while we were sitting, and he goes, Dude, um... Uh... Our uncle, Uncle Steve, said, like, we have to, we have to, like, dress a little nicer because we're about to do, like, a ceremony type thing. And I'm like, oh, yeah? Okay, I'll go get dressed up. And then I go back to the cabin, and I poke two holes through a garbage bag. (laughs) 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 Or three holes, one for my head and two for my arms. And, And I take a Sharpie, and I draw a tie. You know, do you remember that? I think I do. And we we walked. I we, do remember. We walked that. To like the island where like the rock climbing shit was, and I 
I was so loud. It was it was so quiet because it was like crinkling. a ceremony. And it was crinkling all over. Dude. And I was sitting on my ass and it was super uncomfortable. I was like shifting all over. <laughs> That's so funny. I do remember I do remember that. That was like the achievement ceremony. Like you have like the strength in you and stuff. They kind of like they were just, the whole time they were just hyping us up yeah, pretty much. They really were. It was like hype camp. Yeah. Hype camp. Um It was a good time. Yeah. I I miss doing that. I just talked, uh, we just talked at dinner all about, um, how I got a black eye at summer camp one year at scout camp. It was my first oh. year at scout camp and I tripped mm-hmm. and my, <laughs> my face, my cheek is my left cheek. My left cheek hit a wooden staircase right on the edge, right oh. on the edge of the step. And it, and it, just, oh God, my entire, like this part of my face was purple and scarred, like, cause it ripped open it, and, and it, and it was like bloody. And I, I, all, all the kids at camp called me Scarface all week. That's kind of sick. <laughs> yeah. But I, dude, I threw up from how yeah. hard I got hit. It was th- it probably more like one of the most painful things I had ever experienced. It could have been so much worse too. Oh, yeah. Right on the edge. Your eye could have been gone. And dude. Oh Yeah. I could have, oh, dude, so close, so close to losing an eye. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Um, and I remember waking up the next day and just being like, oh, <laughs> I'm still like dead. Like, I cannot move. Um, but eventually I got over it and it looked gnarly yeah, for a while, but... for a fat minute. I, I, was, I was young, too. I was like 11. Damn. Yeah. I still had fun. Fun yeah. week at camp. Yeah. My, uh, Can't complain. My cousin got in a fight with another kid. With Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say his name, dude. <laughs> bleep that out later. Yeah, we'll bleep Just it bleep out. Just bleep it out. Sorry. Um, no, it's cool. He, I forgot what happened. This one kid. Um, so the kid that he got in a fight with was on ADHD meds. And... His mom, this fucking bitch, <laughs> decides, I'm going to take my son off the meds the day before he goes to camp because my uh, doctor says he should be weaned off the meds. So what better time to do it than when I place him in the care of a bunch of complete strangers? Yeah, and let them deal with his come yep. down off whatever yep. the hell they put he him on. Was, he was, I, I remember like... Uh, we played this awesome game where we like played basketball with a fucking frozen uh, thing of ice from a Home Depot bucket. It was this cylinder of ice, mm-hmm. and it was like it's slippery, and we were in water, oh. and we were in the lake, and it was it was really fun. And um, I came out from the water, and I was like, "Hey, man, why aren't you why aren't you playing?" And he and he's just like. <clears throat> and his fucking pukes on the ground, and I'm like, "Jesus oh. Christ!" And before this, he was eating. He was going to the trading post and eating fucking non just sugar, 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 sugar. sugar There's a trading and, post like your little shop. Yeah, the trading. Yeah, it's like where you. It's like a concession stand oh, okay. slash gift shop. Um, he would get these big things. Of, there's something called. I remember him like teaching me what it was. <laughs> uh, and he was just so enamored. I remember his eyes Lit lighting up, up yeah. going, this is what we call uh, moon rocks. And he got um, <gasps> uh, blue moon ice cream and a Sprecher's orange dream soda. Oh. And we, he would make a float out of it. And I tried it. It was pretty good. Yeah. And he would I've just, heard people talk he'd just eat that shit. He would just eat all of that. And then um, uh, all the candy... Soda, just Mountain Dew after Dude. Mountain Dew after Mountain Dew. Oh, code red, code red, code red. And Dude, that uh, shit will kill you. Yeah, he got pretty fucked up that week. Um, I don't remember. I don't know even know how they got into a fight, but someone punched someone. Damn. Oh, Jackson punched him. Yeah. Oh, you gotta bleep that. Oh, I gotta. Bleep. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I watched this video of. Uh, Somewhere in South America, I believe, they, I could be wrong, I don't remember, they poured cement into an ant hole that stretched like, like a fucking quarter mile into the ground, just like this massive, complex fucking set of tunnels, 
and they like unearthed the the cement after it dried yeah, yeah. to reveal like this crazy uh like molecule looking thing yeah where it's all attached by uh, like pods like big uh bulbs and then tunnels leading to another big bulb it's like a neuron system yeah and it was it was huge fucking massive and they explained how ants are the second uh like smartest creature in terms of like developing societies and communities something like that because they had like like second to us yes what the genuinely f- like there's or in like um like uh the development of a society like in terms of species they're the second most developed in terms of creating like wow. a community just fucking crazy they're mm-hmm. ants they're fucking i would have thought monkeys for sure <laughs> Yeah, because they do have like yeah. They, well, similar. all all species have communities. Yeah, but that's insane. Is this like the bug episode? I kind of well, worms aren't bugs, but I I like small. We're this wait. The small, wor- hold on. We were talking about worm. Worms aren't bugs. <laughs> <laughs> worms are not bugs. Are you serious? You're lying. Uh, I, okay, I guess they're bugs. What else would they be? I don't know. They're not an insect. They don't have uh. They don't have legs. Bug. <laughs> what qualifies a bug? But creepy crawly bug, <laughs> okay, creature fine. critter. Fine, they're a bug. This is the small creatures episode. Well, okay, so we're talking about gnomes and and nymphs. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. This is this like is a small, small forest creature episode. episode. Um, I'm cool with that being our first episode. Yeah, the that's small a good topic. Episode. I um, and we're, uh, we're talking about when we were small creatures at camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small creatures episode. Um. I but read, if worms are not insects, then what are they? I have no idea. I, like sn- you're, you're saying fucking like, Google it after this. All right. <laughs> but I what was I gonna say. Um, I remember being uh, being in Europe and like at, um, at my grandpa's house at this fucking. Uh, he had like this stone ridge going around like the outside of his house, and. Um, I stepped on on part of it and it collapsed. It collapsed off of the lawn. Like the lawn was kind of raised, and then around it were like the, like this stone. Like the landscaping. Yeah, yeah. And the the stone came off, and inside was a huge ant nest. It was the first time I'd ever seen an ant nest for the fucking inside. Yeah, I've seen yeah. Animals. But I was like, holy shit! And I saw like all the little white things. I was like, those are their eggs. And then we leave to like go shopping for a little bit, and we come back. All gone. They, they just they picked, picked up, up and everything and dipped. It's insane they're how fast. So goddamn smart, dude. And they're so tiny. They're, yeah, they are pretty interesting. That's why people got ant farms, probably. That's kind of. I would I'd honestly get an, get an ant, ant farm. farm. Yeah. Bugs are cool. Like they bugs. are. Bugs are pretty. Did you have a scorpion? Cool. What happened? Oh, that's an. That's an arachnid. Yeah, that's like in the spider family. Yes. Um. Yeah, I did have a scorpion, an Asian forest scorpion, and it. I don't even know, dude. I just remember I came home. I fed it, like, regularly with crickets and stuff. I took good care of it. And I remember one day I came back, and it was just, like, laying with its tail flat. But it was, like, kind of, like, swaying it up and, like, flinging it. Really? Yeah, it was really weird. Really? And I, I, dude, I would never touch that fucking thing. Like, no way. So <laughs> nah. I'm, like, I'm not going to pick it up and nah. check on it. Like, Are you okay? I'm, like, dude, you're just going to fucking. Are you okay? If you don't step up, you're just going to die. And yeah. I think he just died. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it was sad because he was cool. Yeah. But. I can. I have the same setup. I can always get another one. Twenty bucks for a squirp. For a squirp, twenty dollars squirp. squirp. Yep. It's a steal. Yeah, dude. Animals are cheap as hell. They are at um. PetSmart. Yeah. I think having a pond would be sweet. A little yeah. backyard pond, like just a mini one. I remember as a kid going to, uh, my rich friend's house. They yeah. Had this massive house. And um, outside they had a pond. Yeah. And it, they had like the fish and everything. And I remember a fucking turtle laid its eggs there and shit. And it was cool, man. It was just I uh, always like I would come over and it would be like winter time, and I'd be like, "Can I go look at the pond?" <laughs> They'd be like, "Why? It's fucking cold fucking outside. Ponds I just are want cool. To go check out the pond. Yeah. Fuck like, even off. The, even the kid my age would be like, "Why do you want to go see the pond?" I was like, you have a pond. Yeah, bro. Like, you Appreciate don't understand. Appreciate your pond. Like, <laughs> having, like, 
I, I have a trash pile like down the street that I play in. You have a pond. <laughs> I play. I play we played on mounds of trash. I, we play on a mound of trash. I remember um, making the garbage can boat when the retention yeah. pond filled up, and Dude, sending that whole you. street. I don't know why people would buy those houses. I guess uh, the realtors must have legitimately lied. To Glazed the, the hell out of them that <laughs> own these houses because the entire street would flood. Yeah, like two feet like two feet high mm -hmm. and then would surround their house yeah i remember like that. almost every other summer pretty yeah. much and this, the school was at the bottom of that street it just would shut down every time um but it was kind of cool because one of the neighbors had a jet ski and he would rip it <laughs> through the, the street ski, right in the street Fucking right in front sick. of our elementary school that was badass dude that's dope like yeah, but the raft idea was good, but I was always just so scared. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to get, because we don't know what, there's garbage down there. That's yeah. all, like, trash contaminated soil. Yeah. And then when the water fills it, it just seeps yeah. in. Yeah, it's terrible. My mom would be like, don't you fuck, don't you fucking go in that water. Dude. Don't you go in that water. I'd play in the water. Yeah, but, we had to. But, um. Oh, dude, that place was awesome. If we had a better raft, I would have had more confidence. Oh, yeah, dude. If we had, like, a couple 50-gallon drums. We just got my sled, my inflatable sled. You remember? Really? Yeah. We put that in there? We went to do it, and we're oh, like, nah. Nah, that's not a good idea. Yeah. Because nah. <laughs> <laughs> even the entrance to the, it, it was like, it seeped down a little bit to the point where it wasn't over the street anymore, and it was just the retention pond. Yeah. But, like, we walked up to it, and we're like, Dude, nah, not a good plan. I still kind of want to. I see people kayaking in the Salt Creek. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? That yeah. water is disgusting. You get a splash of that in your mouth, you got AIDS for sure. <laughs> I still kind of, I still kind of want to do it. Yeah, I haven't been kayaking forever. We we're just talking about this. I want to go. Dude, this year camping. I'm gonna bring my rods. Hell yeah! And I definitely want to go do like rent kayaks this year and just go on the lake for a day. I wouldn't mind doing that, honestly. Uh, I don't like the intensive fishing. I don't like waking up at 4 in the morning and go, Dude, when we did that... With we, my dad? We, yeah, that sucked I, so hard. Personally, I like it. I, I we like, caught nothing. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> but, like, I like just, like, the silence and, like... It's really, like... I would appreciate it more now that I'm older. Yeah, but, it's really, like, cleansing for yeah. me. When I was a kid, for sure, I hated it. I was like, if I'm not catching anything, this sucks. Like, I never want to do this again. But now, at this age... I could catch nothing and just be like, I just feel like I never, good. I never liked handling fish. I don't really? Like, yeah. The slimy it's, it's is just not a fan. No, it's like, I can handle the slime. Yeah. I, I don't mind that. The sludge. I can handle the slime, the sludge, the goop, <laughs> like, all that. But, like, fucking bluegill, every other fish you catch is a bluegill. It's got those sharp-ass spines that you have to, like, fold over. Yeah. And it's like, and it can go right through your goddamn hand. They're, they're so sharp. Catfish, too. They got the barbs. Yeah. That. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit. <coughs> yeah. yeah. I also don't want to put my thumb into a down a fish's throat. I, I, that, <laughs> I always thought that was funny. I'm just, like, jamming it and, like, clamping it. I'm like, Wait. This is not my thing. I, I've, never, I've never... I like it, personally. I guess I'm not a, a real fisherman. Nah. <laughs> it's just... I could put worms on hooks and shit. Yeah. But... I hate bluegill. I hate bluegill. Dude. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, people eat bluegill in Wisconsin, and I'm like, people how, do. How? How do? What do you eat? There's yeah, a, it's like the hamster amount of meat. I was gonna say fish. like like a half dollar <laughs> amount of meat. That's pathetic. What are you doing, Wisconsin? I did fillet a fish though. I I did learn how to do that. I didn't gut it. I, didn't, I don't know how to do that. That's well, that you that you did the hard part. Gutting it is just cutting it down the belly and then just scooping everything out and then taking the head off. Oh, yeah, you did the hardest I think part. I might have done that. You probably did. I think you did. Oh, shit, it was pretty good too. Yeah. Tasted good. I don't eat fish enough. I like it, but yeah, I also don't eat it that much. That fucking I was just telling you that place at Mitsua has like two hundred dollar per pound slices of tuna, but you can get a little. <sighs> little Sampler for Dude, twenty thirty dollars. Tuna is so good, raw. Yes, it's like it's weird. 
Mm-hmm. It's like gummy. It is. Like gummy candy. It's like, it's so good. I, I want sushi, dude. I haven't had sushi oh, in a minute. Weren't we just talking about Poke Bowls? Yeah. Oh, just rice and fish, healthy ass shit. Yeah. That's avocado. probably how the Japanese live to fucking 117, yeah. Probably. They got a big old person problem. I've been hearing about that really? for a while. Like, they're, they have the elderly people outnumber the younger people by a significant amount and it's like a problem there they like encourage um breeding yeah pretty much they yeah. really do because they're like we need more young people dude yeah that's kind of crazy yeah. i didn't know that they're, that is an issue japan's paying people to uh take up all the old houses that people don't want i anymore. saw that you could live for free for free yeah i think you were telling me about yeah. that i don't yeah. like i don't want to fucking sign a contract that says you have to live here for five years no that, dude, they, they, there's this, another thing in italy to like live in like a italian countryside farmhouse that. that's cool the, but the, i also the, don't want to be tied to a place for like 10 percent, not 10 percent, like six seven percent of my life dude but like yeah. tony soprano avellino house come on that's <laughs> sick to live there yeah it's but, like beautiful but it's like i don't speak italian for one and I uh, I would enjoy the countryside. I know that I would enjoy walking around. Yeah. But, like, you also have to restore the house, which is, like... <laughs> Whatever. Nah, dude, it's... Yeah. It... Nothing's free in yeah. this world. It's... They make it out to seem so good, but it's definitely not as good as it sounds. Um, uh, Japan, I could... I, no way I could do that. No Just, like, I would be so sad. As and, cool as Japan seems... I wouldn't be able to speak to anyone. Dude, I'd be taller than, like, everybody. Yeah, everyone would be... <laughs> and I just would never know what anyone was saying. And I'd yeah. just get so depressed, probably. Actually, a lot of people do speaking. It is the lingua franca. English is the unanimous U- universal language of language. the world. Everyone uses it. So, like, you will find people that speak English, but, like, if you're taking one of those free houses, you're not in one of the no. areas where they speak English. You're in, like... They have. They don't even know Walmart exists. Probably. <laughs> they do not. They do not. They've been eating shit out of the ocean their entire lives. Yeah. Pretty. Which cool. is based. Pretty. Which cool. is fucking that awesome. Is based. Yeah. Hopefully not out of like the nuclear sections, but the Fukushima fish. Yeah, that's crazy. I remember that picture went around. Oh, that like oh nuclear mutated Fukushima the Simpsons fish. fish. No, <laughs> not the Simpsons fish. It was like a, um. I can't even, it was like a snake. It was like a massive, disgusting, like, oh. discolored snake. I don't believe it was. No, I don't think mutation works like that. Like, you, Did you ever watch River Monsters? Yeah, up? yeah, I loved River Monsters. Did you Monsters. watch the Chernobyl episode? No. no. We're going full circle, dude. He went to Chernobyl to fish for a giant mutant fucking, like, catfish type thing. Did he get it? Yeah. Of course he did. Yeah. You know he stopped doing that show because he caught, like, he caught all of every them. fish? He caught every fucking one. Like, what a know. cool dude. Yeah. That's awesome. He, had, he needs to come back and catch the fucking monster squid, one of the giant squids. Yeah. That would be a sick episode. That's like almost impossible. Did he ever though. do a cephalopod? I can't remember. I know he did a, a giant electric eel that traveled through rivers in like South America. Not like, even the Amazon, like small rivers in communities. This like 30 foot long electric eel. Would sli- and it could like move from land too because like the environment, the water would se- would be seeping through. It was the like ground. an Everglades kind of thing. Yeah, to kind of. So it would um, it could just go wherever it wanted. And it so it used like the, like the rivers as channels to like travel yeah. between bodies. Yes. That's insane, scary as shit. Bodies of water terrify me. Oh yeah, I, honestly, one of my biggest fears is Dude, the ocean. I still don't know how in that lake like it was getting dark and you were just like so chill about swimming. To the other side like that freaked I want, me out it would usually it would have but i was I, I was loving it man something about the sunset and everything it was chill and i was like halfway across yeah you, made went, it you could have made it for sure I made it i was not gonna follow i got like a quarter <laughs> of the way and i was like something's gonna usually when we're under. like coming from the beach and i know that there's all the like i have to seaweed go, yeah i have to trudge through the seaweed I hate that. I yeah, hate that that's a, lot. a nasty feeling. There's like a phobia of like objects in water. I don't remember what it's called. I definitely have that. I yeah. Oh, I I, th- I think I do too. Oh, I know sub mechapho sub mechanophobia. That's like large the mechanical giant, yeah. things underwater, like yeah. submarines and shit. I, well, honestly, yeah. If I was like just like swimming underwater for a minute and I saw a fucking 
like it's like sunken ship there's just something plane about that. sunken plane sunken that would plane. freak me out something about that spooky yeah that's a cool I just uh, learned about that I, I told you today the shipwreck that you can see in the city yeah if you go to a specific spot and you can it's you can see it best at this certain point in the day you can only just see the tiny little tip of like the edge of it maybe it's the, the same water. one it might be it's the in the river one. right Chicago River no, it's in the lake. Oh, then never mind. No, yeah. we're thinking of a different thing. The one. I'm oh, that's of. why they took it out because it was in the. Yeah, room. yeah. Okay. I was gonna say I don't. They don't usually take shipwrecks. Oh, there's not really a point to that. No, but it was in the river, and I think, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on there. That was probably that yeah. was 1915 when they were still using it, probably as for like shipping reasons to get yeah, exactly. goods across. So. That's what I'm thinking. Like, if they're they're still use it for. Shipping yeah, reasons. but not as frequently. Yeah. I feel like. Um, I want to swim in that river by Calsec. I know it's disgusting and filled with oil. And Dude, these I, I was there one time and these chicks stripped down and went in there, and I was like, they are gonna like they're gonna be so sick when they get out. Yeah. Like they stunk when they got out too, Ugh. like like chemicals, gasoline. It was all Ugh. gasoline and mud was the Gross. smell. That's and I'm disgusting. like, you need to go to the emergency room were they, they get awfully, shot. were they exceptionally giggly while doing so no they were very <laughs> um ah uh, like crusty individuals oh. you know they they were, they were used to it yeah Not it seems like it rodeo. seems like it was their prominent bathing hole <laughs> i bet uh, we got to I don't. I don't think we. We don't have to mute Calseg. Is Calseg a nickname? I don't want people discovering. It, that place. It's not the full, and it's not the the place where we go. Is, yeah, that's I know. Not what it's, it's a called. very specific yeah, location. It's different. It's a fucking cool ass place covered in spray painted rocks in the middle of the woods, and you're never gonna fucking find it, you fuckers. I know you could, people want that shit. Not happening. You kind of just gave away I mean, a lot, though. I don't care. I'm gatekeeping the shit out of it. No, but like you're never they could it. look up like. They can probably look fine. We'll cut this out. Then. Don't cut it out. Just just <laughs> cut the, just cut the name. Like, don't do Cal Sag. Mm. Actually, no, it's fine. You guys are yeah. You're not gonna find it. You guys are nincompoops. You're not gonna. Find There's it. no way you're gonna find it. Actually, <laughs> no chance. So, um. Yeah, that place rocks. Honestly, we need to go there more often this summer. Just to yeah. hang out. I remember when we set up hammocks there. So chill, dude. I think Fucking that's awesome. what I'm gonna start doing during the week. Yeah. I'll go for runs over there and then set up yeah. my hammock. I want to go get. I want to go to the library more. I want to get books. I just fucking read. I gotta like read nerd. more. I'm getting. Stupid. I have two library books that are like a month and a half overdue. <laughs> I gotta go return those. Dude, I forgot libraries even existed. One of them was. Uh, I wanted to read. Uh, Kafka's Metamorphosis. Have you ever heard no of that? Dude, idea. another bug topic. Jesus oh Christ. This guy wakes up and he's a fucking beetle. He's a massive beetle. Oh, you were telling me about this. He yeah, wakes yeah, up yeah. and he's just a fucking bug and he doesn't like know how to like function. He does he's like he thinks he's speaking, but he's just really just going <laughs> 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 and, and he somehow manages to like roll himself out of bed. And it fucking, like, breaks one of his, his fucking... Legs? Yeah. And he crawls to the door, and he gets... He's, he's like, like getting his clothes on <laughs> as a beetle, and he's, like, running out the door, and, and he opens it, and the whole family's there. Like, in the meantime of all this, this whole morning, he's, like, late to work. And... Uh, excuse me. And... Uh, his boss comes, like his manager. Yeah. And um, and he's like freaking at his out. family. They're like knocking on the door. It's locked, and he unlocks it, and he fucking flops out as a beetle. And it's about him living like the rest of his uh, life as a, a beetle, like hiding away in their house. Wasn't a big part like him being more concerned about being late for work than for yeah. Being, the entire being thing, beetle. the entire time, he was like. I gotta get the fucking work, man. <laughs> he did not care about being a beetle at all. That He's seems like, like a nightmare, honestly, that I would have. Like something like Yeah. Yeah. Just like That makes sense, yeah. Just worried about something regular every day if something worse is happening. Yeah. It's weird. There's yeah. definitely more to that, but I'm not gonna pretend like I'm some fucking literacy sophisticate. No. That it, it's um, diving into the intricacies and symbols of Kafka's writing. I don't give a shit. I thought it was funny that he wakes up as, as a bug. bug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, was, it was a good book. I liked it. Let's talk about hats. 
Hats? You want to talk about hats? Ushankas. How about the hat I wore during our uh, <laughs> our uh, talent show, our fourth grade talent show? Indiana Jones styrofoam hat with. I swear to God, it was a top hat. I swear to God to this day. I swear to God, it was not. But I don't know. I, I have the footage. I can review it. I it, I did have the Indiana Jones hat, but I remember having it taped to the top hat. I don't remember yeah. it being taped. But to it the, it was brown. Yes. But uh, no, the top hat was like this foam shitty one from like uh, Michael's. What color? Black. Then I I really think it was brown. There's but a picture. My memory of has it. failed me multiple we times. We gotta find so. the. We gotta find the picture. There's a picture, and I have it on video. Or video. I have the tape. When we were fucking ten years old, we went up on stage and did a, a talent show skit in the midst of all these parents like legit falling asleep watching these kids like play. Mary had a little lamb on the piano, and Katy Perry's firework. Oh my and god! The ton twirling. She sucked. We Sorry. did a skit on police brutality <laughs> before we knew what police brutality was. We definitely just absorbed some some shitty internet jokes. Yeah, and and we're like, oh, it would be so funny if like a police. Uh, beat up a homeless guy and and took his money <laughs> the only money he had his wallet it's 10 year olds were like that's fucking hilarious yeah that's so good. they killed it killed, killed with the adults it killed the they adults lost their it. minds it was awesome it, yeah it was really cool and i didn't expect it we at stole all. the show yeah everybody else was a loser if you're watching this <laughs> sorry guys you didn't make it it's twirling batons yeah three drops does anyone make it twirling batons no is that a thing? Like, are there oh, professional baton twirlers? When there we have were, to be. yes, there are. When when uh, when I moved to my current house, um, I went to my friend's birthday party, and his parents hired no way a flaming baton twirler. Okay, that's kind of cool. No, it wasn't because no, she sucked. Oh, she had the shit on did fire. Did she drop it? All bunch? the kids were in the backyard. It was like a Halloween party. She yeah. dropped it like six times. Oh. Like terribly, she had to relight it after she dropped no it. Way. It was so cringe. That's and just I remember everybody coming back inside and being like, "Holy fuck!" I'd ask for a refund. I, Dude, I would. I would have been pissed. You just fucking dropped that shit six times and had to relight it in front of a group of children that, that all are, laughed at you. Yeah, like I'm not. No, I'm not paying. Your you, life dude. sucks. I'm like not, I'm sorry, I'm not damn. paying you, dude. Uh, practice more. <laughs> yeah. So there are people who definitely try to do that for a living. I respect birthday party clowns. I feel like they put birthday the work in. Clowns? They put the work in. I think. I, yeah. I like they're oh, a they're a dying breed. I feel like they're gone for the most part. I remember. I never witnessed one at like firsthand. I did. Yeah, and I, it was the worst experience. It made me hate clowns. Yeah. I was at a wedding and my aunt that was getting married hired a clown for like the kids entertainment. So like there was like a little separate offshoot room that we were that we went to go sit in. And they, like, made balloons and stuff. And then they were doing, like, a little magic show with, like, these cubes. And he was, like, passing, like, this metal ball through these cubes. And I remember at the time, I got that little magic kit, you know? Mm -hmm. And I thought I was hot shit. And I'm sitting with my cousins. And I'm probably, like, seven years old. And he did the thing. And I guess he heard me whisper. But I was like, I could totally do that. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, hot shot. Like, come up here and do it. And I'm a little kid, you know? And I, like, walk over and I couldn't do it. He's like... Not as easy as it looks, huh? Go sit down and maybe don't talk during my performance. Damn. And I'm just like, fuck this Damn. Clown, what it, a dick. I mean, you were being a little shit. I was but, being a little shit, but not that much of a yeah, little shit. Yeah, no, like, he, him being an adult, being that big of a getting dick. Getting hurt? Out, out, hurt over a kid? Yeah, that outweighs. You're a fucking clown, like literally. <laughs> Shut up. Go home and smoke an entire pack of cigarettes and throw up. Yeah, you're at a <laughs> wedding. Like, how much does that hurt to know you're never going to get married? <laughs> Or ever gonna have kids? Screw you, dude. If you're out there and you're still alive, fuck you, dude. I remember what it was the first time I had ever witnessed a clown out in public. I was uh, driving on the highway. And I was in I was in the back seat and I was looking mm. out the window and in this shitty little tiny beat up like Nissan was a fucking clown driving like. Oh god. He just looked so depressed and I was like, that's the saddest clown I've ever seen. That's. Fucked. I thought they're like. Always happy. Yeah, they, I was like, "Fuck, dude!" And then I remember seeing them at uh, the circus and being like, "Fuck, get away from me, dude. Jesus Christ!" The they would like run around through the crowd. Barnum Bailey's or whatever. Some, some, some of that. Yeah, shit. I remember that. I hated that too. I did not like them. I they remember my teacher. 
like making such a fuss in like eighth grade when Barnum and Bailey was like going out of business. I feel like they're still around, aren't they? Didn't someone buy the copyright? Or I think so, but like I've now they don't have animals or anything. Uh, I think they like switched it up because they were going out of business because of animal cruelty charges and stuff. Mm, I believe that's fucking something valid. with the lions and stuff. And Thomas Edison when he just kills an elephant for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Check like, this shit out. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a dickhead. He, he sucks. He's such an asshole. Yeah. He deserves no respect. He didn't do anything. Nah, he just dude, stole ideas. Nikola Tesla invented everything that he like got money for. You know, he Nikola Tesla invented Bluetooth. No way. Yeah. It was like oh, a the, thing. He made the patent back yeah. then. Yeah, I did hear that. That's pretty sick. No, Edison's a fucking piece of shit. Dick he stole the phonograph. He stole the light bulb. From what I've heard. Yeah, from what no, I've I, read, I'm, I'm, but I'm sure it's true. Like, I've also heard that he's just a dick in general. Yeah, he was not I a remember, good guy. I remember, I watched so much History Channel as a kid. I yeah. watched too much History Channel as a kid. They always made it so entertaining. They like, did. They made it really good. They would make it theatrical as fuck. Maybe they embellished a bit. I'm but. sure, yeah. The World War Two shit was the best. Oh I remember when they released the the full three part like mega series, where every part was a movie. Or it was two parts. It was two parts. One for World War One, one for World War Two, mm. and it was like a theatric uh, reenactment with like uh, historical narration over it. And it was like showing, um, it was showing like Hitler as a soldier in World, in War, World War One, one. and like this intense scene where they were getting gassed, and he had to put his his uh, his mask on but his mustache was so big and he couldn't fit it on so he had to hold his breath and the gas was burning his face Jesus. and then and then it cuts to the like the fucking intro of like Darth Vader putting his helmet on fucking c- cutting the mustache into the tiny mustache so Bro. that it could fit in the gas mask <laughs> like the, <laughs> the evil the, the fucking origin story <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was like oh that's Dude. why the tiny mustache yeah that makes sense. That's I, is nuts. that real? I, it is real. I, I've heard it? that from a lot of sources that he had to, he was forced to cut it due to his gas mask not fitting. That's pretty funny. When that would make sense. So too. he was rocking some major stash beforehand. Huh. Yeah, dude, he was sick. He had like the full like the big one, the big. I don't even know like what character. Him would walking have around it. art school with a fucking handlebar. Mask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but that series was awesome. Man. Yeah, that sounds right. dope. I would, dude. Before World War One, fucking, what's that movie? Uh, All Quiet on the Western. Yeah, Front. before All Quiet on the Western Front came the History Channel mega series. <laughs> that was it. That was the World War One movie to see. It was badass, and I learned so much. I was like, it's crazy how that we like in like twenty years we went from like, just like. Single action rifles to fucking tanks. Mm hmm. <laughs> Badass. Dude, history. I like, it seems like you watch a lot of the education. I watched like the trash the TV. Trash, like like a- X Men. Alien, and... alien, uh. No, no, no. It was like Gold Rush and X Men. Yeah, Swamp People. Swamp People. I remember Swamp people you was watching fire. Swamp People. Just watching rednecks kill. Shoot, just shoot alligators in the head. It was insane. <laughs> I was just like, I remember being a kid, my dad's like, Check this shit out. He's like, there's a little soft spot. They got to shoot him right in the head. And then they, I'm just watching. They shoot him in the head right on the TV. And I'm like, that's fucking insane that they could do that. My stepdad was hyping me up to go gator fishing or gator hunting when we were uh, when we went to New Orleans for vacation like 10 years ago. Uh-huh. He was like, we should go gator hunting. And I'm, a, I'm like 11. I'm like, yeah, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. I, get, I would get knocked off the boat shooting a shotgun <laughs> at that point. But I was so ready. I was like, let's do it now. We're already here. Yeah. Why not just get it out of the way? Did, did you go to, you went to New Orleans with your family. Yeah, you? I did. Yeah. Did you ever go on the swamp tour? Yeah. That was the shit when they would like get the gator to come they up They gave on me the, the marshmallow and they gave me a stick and I put it on and they're like, she didn't tell me what the fuck was going to happen. And then she's like, hold your stick over. She's like, wants to hold my stick with the marshmallow. I'm like, I will. She's like, hold it over the boat. And I'm holding it and the boat's just like slowly chugging along. And then like, I just hear like, and I look and it's just a gator chomping the stick and oh, going back down. Man, It was the scariest, but coolest <laughs> thing I've ever experienced. That I loved it. Badass. It was so cool. Oh, no. They didn't do any fucking scary shit like that by giving a kid the stick to hold. Dude. They would. Uh, they had like a, pe- they had a piece of raw chicken at the end of like uh, one of those old people clampy things. Oh yeah. And they and he just get it. He 
they were halfway on the boat. Like their body Jesus, was halfway like holding up themselves the up with their arms. Yeah, their arms were over the boat, yeah. eating the chicken, or just fucking right in front I'm of good. us. Right in front of us. I'm good. And they were so. I feel like they really knew what they were doing. They really knew these fucking the gators. gators, and they knew the gators by name oh, too. Yeah, they for knew sure. which ones were like chill enough to do that, and which ones had eggs and would like kill you yeah. if you did that. Um. So yeah, they knew what they were fucking doing, but it was it was cool. It was badass. Sounds dope. I would uh, I would love to go back there. It's a really cool place, and the food, dude. Is it time to wrap it up? Yeah, you got four more minutes. Well, well just wrap it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this was a productive first episode for not having anything prepared. <laughs> yeah. I, well, are we small creatures episode? The small creatures, small creatures episode. episode. Thank you for joining us on the Sludge Hour. I'm I'm one of your hosts, Goob, and this is your other host, Sebastian. Signing off. See ya. Peace.